these look even tinier, but maybe that's just because they're sort of clear. Yeah, because of the transparency. So my name is Grant Jonathan. I'm from the Tuscora Nation. Live and work in New York City full time for the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. I manage the tribal program down there, and in my spare time, I like to uh, do Tuscora raised beadwork and create things. It could be, it's definitely Tonawana Seneca style though, I can just tell by looking at it. Mm. Um, that's the thing with beadwork, sometimes multiple people made it, mm. or it could be other bead workers in the family, but you know, back then we didn't sign the pieces we created, so it's, it's difficult to attribute each piece to an individual bead worker, but this is beautiful. <laughs> well, I like to look at the old pieces, and I have quite the collection. I have almost 2,000 pieces of Tuscarora beadwork. So I like to look at a lot of old patterns, a lot of old techniques that were used in our work and get them revived and share them with some people. Could they be old Tuscarora, meaning pre-Civil War? Possibly. Mm. But all our beadwork from 1860 on was clear glass in a size 8, 9, or 10 bead. This one? Tuscarora, this is one of ours. It's probably 1870, 1880. Well, our community is, uh, the Tuscarora Nation is about six or seven miles away from Niagara Falls. And all our families there used to sell beadwork at the falls. You know, it was, it was to raise money. We would sew all winter and during the summer and into the fall, we would travel to Niagara Falls and, and sell beadwork to tourists who came from around the world, especially with the Erie Canal. I mean, once that was built, um, access to Western New York from like the 1860s onward, um, there was just an influx of people. So now you're finding these antique pieces of Tuscarora beadwork all over the world. I buy most of my collection online and I've had pieces come from Australia, from Europe, from Japan, just, it's, it's everywhere. He was also Brian's mentor too, right? I, that I'm not sure. So I, I learned how to bead from my mother when I was 18. She taught me the basic skills, making earrings, uh, small wallets, and keychains. And then I went to college and got all distracted for several years. And then she passed away about 11 years ago, and I moved home and took advanced beadwork classes with Rosemary Hill, one of our well-known uh, beadworkers at the Tuscarora Nation. And she taught me my advanced beadworking skills. So I also had the privilege and honor to bead with Rosemary in her home for like one year. So I would go down quite a few times during the week and we would just sit there and gossip and eat pizza and bead together. It was wonderful. That's a contemporary piece I made uh, a few years ago. It's a family heirloom. And I'm so pleased to welcome you to the first event that I've coordinated so far here at the New York State Museum. Thank you. Um, you know, I've been here for the past few years, and it's centered on beadwork. And it came about because this exhibit behind me, Art of the Erie Canal. The pieces that I make are small. Uh, they were known as sou souvenir art or uh, Europeans used to call them whimsies, but what I make are small objects that were uh, used regularly by people. Picture frames, pin cushions, card cases, or something for uh, to use as an ornament like birds or strawberries. Uh, so I make a lot of pieces that are uh, traditional in my community, and I just give them a little contemporary vibe and feeling to them. When I go to make a piece, I draw it out, I sketch it, um, I select the colors of the fabric and the beads that I want to use, and I, you know, wing it, and it, it comes out to be something beautiful. Tuscarora Nation is a huge beadworking community. Everybody beads there, man or woman. I mean, there's more women beadworkers, but there's a lot of men that bead as well. So it's very much ingrained in our culture, ingrained in our families, ingrained in our clans. And when I do it, it just, and I have the skill, and I, I appreciate that I have the skill. I just, no matter where I am and I'm beating, I feel like I'm back home.